Yo, what's up guys, Nate here. So, you know, in today's video, I'm currently top one right now. Gonna be showing you guys the games that got into top one with the modern control and modern 2.3. Um, All right, looks like I'm uh, facing Ian here. Oh man, Ian. Honestly, I have no idea what this guy's running, but it could be anything. Archers could be a giant graveyard, probably for like a video P.E.K.K.A. maybe. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> gotta love the full, the full skill, man. P.E.K.K.A. the back second play. Okay, so Pekka, probably like LP and then, probably like LP and then I think E was minions and then like archers, yeah, he already played his archers, so. I mean, there should be some pretty easy defense, I can just go for like E Spirit here to, to distract the ghost here. Skeleton's log here as well. I do need to overcommit with the knight here, but I'm pretty sure that Pekka should walk towards uh, my bomb tower, so. I think I may need to go for like a minor here as well, definitely don't want that Pekka hitting my tower. It should be like a really good matchup, again, I do have the double evo. Wait, does he have a double evo in the stack? I don't think he does. Well, fire, wait, firecracker, okay. I don't think putting firecracker in a Pekka deck is like, not really that good of an attack, but you know, who am I to say? Ian has like a top one in a GT and ladder, so. Split archers, my hand is pretty awkward, so I might, I might just go for poison. He's probably gonna say like, wow, or like BM or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna mock Ian, or I'm just gonna like, copy emo, emo, uh, the emo that Ian does, the well played. Yeah, Ian is kind of like an avid hater of uh, Minor Poison. Dude just hates Minor Poison for no reason. When he runs a Hog Rider, like the most broken wind con besides Minor. In my, like, humble, in my opinion, but... Okay, I can probably just go for, like, Evo Knight here and then go for, like, Skeleton. He probably look for, like, a Poison, yeah. He could Log here as well. Go for, like, Evo Skeleton. He might look like Mrs. Zap here. Bro, how do you miss a Zap? Wait, I can for, like, pick, uh, like, Minor here. A picture spawn. Is he for, like, Firecracker? He's gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna defend that. Or not, pro evil skeleton. Okay, that's good. <laughs> bro pulled a Riley and he lost his tower because of it. Thanks. I have to say thanks back. So I start yeah, so I start emoting now. I mean, if I just give up here, so like can't you spray the pocket? No, he's not gonna give up. Well, I mean, I saw a comment saying that like, oh, like if you're if you're gonna like trash talk Ian, like I, I, at least beat him. Well, you know, shout out to that one guy. I kind of forgot your I kind of I kind of forgot your name already, but it's whatever. <laughs> Well, here's, here's a win against Ian, bro. Yeah, I don't really know how you miss a zap, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I guess Ian always does talk about Riley, so, you know, I feel like it does, like, rub off of him. I guess missing a spell, always. I just like Mother Witch is back here. I mean, I think at this point, he's still gonna... Oh, he's still emoting. Yeah, I don't... Um, I'm too lazy to scroll to my CR1 emote, even though I have it, so... Let's do this Ram Rider emote. I'm gonna take a log here as well. He's uh, still trying. Okay. Probably just go for, like, evil skeletons here on top of his archers and also his P.E.K.K.A. Go for like a free poison on top of everything. Yeah, they even actually King Tower. Bro, I can't believe Ian was still trying. I mean, I guess never give up, but... <laughs> he's still going, by the way. Is, is he still gonna go? Nope, he's still going. Is he, uh, he's still gonna do it, Ian? Oh, he's still going. <laughs> okay, so whatever, GG's, man. Alright, so hopping in the next match here against a demon from a one-trick fail. Felito? Oh, this guy's a golem one-trick. Golem isn't really the best matchup. I did I did decide to use, like, I like, yeah, switch to Princess Tower and... Yeah, Princess Tower using this deck. I do think Cannoneer is a very pay to win card, and I know some of you probably don't even want to spend money on the Cannoneer. I'm pretty sure you guys still have to spend like 50 bucks on the Cannoneer, which is like, kind of unfortunate. You guys go for a NATO. I mean, I guess that was a good NATO because it does kill my LP, but again, I do have a 2.3 Elixir cost. Yeah, I do have a 2.3 Elixir cycle, so I can always cycle back to another pair of patch or like uh, wall breakers. I'm gonna go back to on top of the LJ though. I mean, this match is probably I just, yeah, I probably just keep on going like. But like, but like split lane here. I can't really go same lane because if I go same lane, then he can literally just go golem in the back and kind of like just one punch me, which is not really. I really can't let him do that. So we're like a lock here on the right side. I can't really go for like my split wall breakers either because again, his cannon will like one shot my wall breakers. I probably need to place like bats or like evil skeletons, the evil skeletons in front of it. You know, I'll be the back here again. And I do it with my evos. I know his only spells are um. I'm pretty sure it's NATO and arrows. Might I try to NATO here. So I'm probably here right, like right away. We have like Ice Spirit here as well. Evil Bomber. Not really the best Evil Bomber. Okay, never mind. So we have like Miner here as well. I mean, what would that retarded on the Miner? Okay, well, we have like Bats here on top of the Baby D. Okay, not. Okay, that was a terrible Bats. I, kind of, I probably should have waited for the Baby D to lock on to my tower and then went for Bats there, but you know, it's whatever. Okay, so we have like LP here. Wait, if I just like force out like his arrows and probably his Evil Knight here, then how's he gonna kill my Evil Skeletons then? We have like Wall behind this. Bro, that LP's locked on the top of the tower, by the way. Wait, hold up. I'm pretty sure he's back to NATO, but he's probably like stupid, so he probably will try to play his Ejack to like chain on something. Evil Skeletons here. 
Nice eat. <laughs> Typical gold player moment. I can actually like LP a little bit low. Probably like LJ behind this and try to go for Nader, right? Probably like, a, like an easy walker kite. I think I'm just going to eat the, uh, eat the baby dragon. I think the most like, uh, you probably the focus on the LJ and also the E drag. Look like Ice Spirit here, then Bats on top of baby G. Look at Skeleton here as well. Probably look at the LP. Look like another wall breaker kite. Okay, probably put my ability here. But I appreciate that should tank, right? Guardian, what are you doing? Oh, right, the Guardian turned back. Okay, it looks like Evil Skeleton here last second on top of the LJ. I think it should be okay here. I think I need to give like a minor here on defense. Honestly, for what he had on the field, bro, if he if he just went if he does went for a preemptive NATO, then I'm pretty sure he would have won the game. But you know, I feel like uh, golden players IQ are not really the highest, man. Go for like a log here. I mean, if he goes for golden, he lost the game. Go for like a minor. I'm pretty sure he's just evil. Oh, yeah, wall breaker or yeah, he's evil bomber. He's a lot more like his arrows. This okay, bro. So used to facing like a log bomber. I think he was saying log of arrows. Okay, he lost, bro. There's, why would you go golem? He can't defend this now. People always do complain about Golem, right? They're like, I feel like they wonder why people call Golem no skill. Well, that's the reason why, dude. Okay, looks like we're facing a Kike Star from Calasis, Espana. I wonder if, like, Skeleton's back here. I mean, honestly, I don't know if, like, using Cannoneer or, like, the Princess Tower is better in, uh, in this deck. Of course, this deck is kind of, like, insanely cheap, so... I feel like there are, again, pros and cons of both using, like, Cannoneer and Princess Tower. And Princess Tower. I do think that, again, Cannoneer is very weak against Strike Graveyard. And of course, as soon as I switch to switch to cannon here, I face giant graveyard. It's not really the best matchup, but again, I feel like just applying pressure at the right moment. I just like snowball this right. Okay, goes are snowball, so that means he can't really knock back the LP now. He might go for graveyard here, so he go for a skeleton here on top of the giant. I have to be kind of careful of his LP though on the right side. But if he, if he goes for graveyard, then he can't support it to his LP. Okay, bats here on top of the graveyard. Go for log here as well. I think go for like LP because he might try to arrows this. No arrows, okay. Yeah, I mean, if I can just like force out a snowball every single time on like my wall breakers or even like my bats, and I think it should be fine here. Of course, it's still a bad matchup. I'm pretty sure this guy also has bowler, but bowler really destroys me. I can put my ability here. Wait, why did he put skeleton? Dude, skeletons and giant graveyard, man. I've almost seen it all. If I had Tesla, then I could probably activate King Tower with his bowler. He's gonna place it in like the inside uh, there, the inside mid, uh, inside middle tile. If I go giant in front of this, maybe no. Yeah, I can't, even act I can't even activate King Tower. <laughs> Probably just for like, uh, Expert here. Go for Evil Skeletons. I want to force out a Snowball or Arrows if I can. Again, if I force out a Snowball, then you can't really go for, um... Wait, what if I just go for Bats here? Then you just Snowball this, right? I it behind. Yeah, look, look, look at those Bats value. Okay, Wall Breaker Connect. Okay, I guess I'll take that. I guess he wasn't back to Snowball yet, or maybe he was, like, too, sl too slow to play it. Although, I feel like both my Evos are out of my cycle, so... This might be kind of bad here. I might just go minor bats here again. I mean, my, I feel like my only way of winning is kind of like just spamming him in single, in single elixir. If I don't spam in single, then I feel like in double, it just gets like a huge push off and then I probably lose the game here. Wall breaker, bro. Wall breaker is always connected for no reason, man. I'm kind of happy that he doesn't have like evil bats though, because I don't really have like a solid way of killing evil bats because I need to save the little prince for, yeah, little prince for the graveyard. Okay, uh, I feel like minor here is to tank everything. Wait, what was the arrows, dude? Okay. That's a bad snowball here as well. He's like evil, oh uh, yeah, Wall Breaker's to distract and go for evil skeletons. Those should stack up though. Okay, so we have like minor than evil bats here right away. I mean, I, should, should I, put, I probably should have played my evil or my minor in front. I that would have tanked. I mean, still have the arrow though. Yeah, I still have the arrow, so I think I'll take that. Again, by him, like, I feel like by him wasting his spells every single time on top of, on top of my Wall Breaker, so like anything else, then he never really, really like, go into the graveyard like fully. Okay, log here as well. I mean, this guy isn't really playing the best, but still. If I do like mine here on top of the archers, I am in a pretty good cycle right now. Oh, how's that bowler now look, looking at the miner? Okay, that's kind of uh, unfortunate, but. For the bomb tower, okay, I think like a bomb tower right here because it was blocking the bomb tower in the middle. Like, yeah, the old one was. LP here. I feel like mine is to block the bowler. Okay, lock it as well. This could be a lot of damage here. LP is a uh, auto lock, so I think I'll take that. Okay, no, honestly, not too bad. I feel like wall breakers ice bait here again. Hopefully he'll play like a snowball. Oh, fully. Bro, I had a nerf this boy. Bowler is so annoying, man. And I backed my Evo though, so that's pretty good. I feel like Evo bats here preemptively. Alright, like a bomb down here again. Again, he, he does burn his arrow, so how's he gonna, how's he gonna kill my Evo skulls if no? Also, we'll go for like wall breaker so he can't support his graveyard. Yeah, I think he lost a game here. He has no arrows in his hand. Yeah, let's both need to connect. Bro. Uh, giant gear players, man. Their IQ. It's so very high, man. 
Okay, log here as well. Again, this matchup is pretty bad, but again, it's a giant care player. What do you guys expect? I know a lot of you have been asking me about like, oh Nate, is there like a viable mind control deck? I think as of now, it's only... Well, I think it's, it's about to be like the second week of the season. I think this deck is probably one of the better variations with Bomb Tower, Inferno, or Tesla. And also I think it was like the LP1, I think it was like last season, it was a uh, Goblins, but now it's like, since they're like double evil slots, I think it'd probably be the one with like evil skeletons and evil made. Again, I feel like the only reason why I'm, I'm using Mother Witch is kind of like to trash on Graveyard. Although it's still kind of sad to say that with Cannoneer, I can still lose the Graveyard. I probably shouldn't lose, but if it if it is like a decent Graveyard player, then I, I probably like will lose here. But you know, I do think that Delivery could make a comeback. I do think that M M Mother Witch is probably better for me on top ladder, and then probably I feel like on mid ladder for you guys are like where like where, I, I, don't, I don't know I don't really know like which range you guys play in play in, but I feel like Delivery could be better than Mother Witch because you know Delivery log, they probably one of the best defensive combos in the game. But I feel like personally for me, I mean right now there's like a lot of bats because evil bats and evil skeletons. I do think Mother Witch will provide a, like provide a lot more value for me personally, but again, kind of see like how this uh, meta goes. I'm pretty sure the double, um, yeah, double evil slot GT is coming up, so, you know, probably, like, test out decks there and, like, tell you guys, like, what the best minor control deck is to use, or I feel like what, one of the, what is the best minor deck to use in general right now, but, I mean, I feel like just being a one-trick, I just, Mother Witch, Poison, you spray, man, all for the graveyard. We're facing Anya, Ko Anya, Anya, Anya Koji, though. Isn't this, uh, that character from, like, uh, Classroom of the Elite, I'm pretty sure? I think that is, but I could be wrong though. I don't really watch like, uh, yeah, I don't really watch Cla Classroom and Delete like that, but... Oh, yeah, I think I'm like Esprit here. That, those both might connect, actually. The only one does. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is Levi. Levi was a pretty decent uh, K minor player. But I think when Double comes up, yeah, it's gonna be really hard for him to break through here. Okay, I'm gonna go Poison here on top of the Evil Skeleton. Okay. I'm actually gonna go Mine in the middle to try to predict. Okay. I feel like Bomb Tower in the middle here as well. I feel like Evil Knight used to tank everything. Wait, what? The one wall breaker survived? Okay, that was kind of bad. I'm taking way too much damage here. I'd be kind of careful. But again, it's only big spells, um... Yeah, it's only big spells, like, uh, zap or, like, arrows. I think it should be fine here. I might have, like, a spirit at the bridge here as well. Whoa, what was that fine here? Wait, you might try to activate King... Oh, I was, uh, I was gonna be like, if he activated King Tower, that, that would've been so good on his end. I feel like, Knight here is worth uh, just the LP. I might try to switch lanes here, but I don't... I mean, he, I think he kind of has to, because if he plays sand lane into me, that'd be so bad. Probably goes, like, empty here on top of the miner. I think he should have waited, though, because he could have hit the pigs here as well. So he's going get, like, decent chip damage here. We'll play, like, a log here. We're gonna knight here just for his bandit. Um, okay, I'm just gonna poison the right side. Go play like, a miner here just to take a mega knight. Ooh, the evil bats, man. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Get okay, Esprit here, go play like, Mother Witcher as well. Hopefully that's on the bats, right? It's on the mega knight. Okay, knight here for the bandit. I mean, at least I forced him to play his, uh, his minor here on top of the Mother Witch, so I get, like, my, like no minor damage on top of my tower. I do have to get back and damage it here, but, I mean, I was down, like, 1,000 damage, and now I'm only down, like, 500, or I'm only down, like, 400 now. Go, like, minor here on defense. Okay, he's here as well. Yeah, it's kind of forced to go same lane, man. Evil Skeletons. Okay, not my best Evil Skeleton. Okay, not the best zap on his end, either. I was at this kind of, like, peak gameplay, man. It's, like, Mother Witch back here. Oh, my bomb tower is still alive, by the way, so... Okay, I'm just gonna poison the Mega Knight. This might seem like a bad play, but... You know, only like 11 seconds out up until uh, Triple X here, so... I can definitely go for a poison like this and I think hopefully get, get away with it. If I don't, then... That'd be uh, very bad. I'm gonna go bomb to the, bomb to the middle, middle here again. I probably need a... I wanna save my poison. Okay, it's not Mega Knight here. If he goes Mega Knight... Okay, now I'm gonna poison. <laughs> yeah, that's not... Yeah, I was about to poison his tower, but he played uh, Mega Knight into... Uh, yeah, the Alpha uh, Bandit, so... A lot of value here. I can play another mother, another another mother witch here. Skeletons here as well. I got a poison on defense. Even right here in the middle, just a tank. I'll probably eat those wall breakers. Even if they do connect, I think it should be fine here. Yeah, okay, mine in the back here as well. Probably got mother witch spawn. He has a mega knight. Oh, he hit an order quite so badly on that. Okay, so I like a log here as well. The poison the bird on the left side just to be safe here. Okay, bomb tower. But his tower's at 1305, I highly doubt he can do over like 700 damage in just 17 seconds, so... Mine right the corner here, he does catch it, but... He can here as well, log on the left side. Okay, bomb to the middle, that should be fine here. Okay, E-Spear, I'm gonna poison on defense here. He can here as well, he should be okay. Okay, mine on defense, then should be game. I'm 
pretty sure by the time this video drops, I think I've hit a 40k sub. So if I have, then thank you guys so much and yeah, let's keep on going.